Hello, dear friends. This is Ewell Humphreys. I'm sharing with you a word from the Bible, and I think it's a good word. It's a word that, that concerns our mouth and our thoughts. And in the Psalm 19, in verse 14, it says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. <clears throat> And so here's a prayer that's a good prayer, a very good prayer. And I'd like for you to consider it and think about it. And it is, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, that is the thoughts that you have in your mind, or let your, the, the things that you think on and the things that you talk about, let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my Redeemer, and so you see, we need to pray this prayer often, even every day. Lord, let, let what I say today be acceptable to you. Let me what I say to others be acceptable to you. May it be pleasing to you. And may what I think toward others and toward myself and toward my plans, may it all be acceptable to you. This is important. First of all, we see that the words in my mouth are important. Over in the Bible, it teaches us that that is something that we need to, to recognize. And I like to think of the fact that you as Christians, you all have the Spirit of God in you. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. He will never leave you. He is there forever. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and it says in Luke 12, verse 12, the Holy Spirit will teach you in the same hour what you should say. The Holy Spirit will teach you in the same hour that you're talking, wherever it is, what you ought to say. And that's important to depend on the Spirit of God in you. I'm depending on Him right now to give me a word for you, a word in due season, a word that somebody is weary, and you just want to give it up. But I'd say to you, don't give up. Keep looking up. Don't give up. Just pray and know that God is there. God is with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's going to stand by you and bring you through the deep waters. You will not drown. You're going over. You're not going under. God is your help and hope. Believe in Him and believe and know that He's there and He's promised never to leave you. He's there and He says, I will be with you unto the very end. Having loved them from the beginning, He loved them to the end. The Lord God loves you. Hold on to that truth. Stand on that rock and know that the hand of God is there to lead you in your life. And he loves you and whatever is happening has a purpose. And that purpose eventually is for your good. Hold on. Everything is going to work out. And the Holy Spirit will teach you in the same hour what you ought to say. And praise God. Jesus Christ has shed his blood. He went to Calvary, and he paid the price for your sins, every one of them. And he paid the price for all our sins, every one of them, that believe in him. And when you believe in him, your sins are all washed away in the blood of Calvary. Praise the Lord God. This is something we need to recognize and know. And the meditation of our heart, our thoughts, he that, that uh, sets his mind on Christ shall have perfect peace. Amen. And I, he whose mind is stayed on Christ has perfect peace. So try to keep your mind on the things the Lord has said. Just like I was reading a while ago in, in the 15th chapter, in the uh, uh, 12th chapter of uh, John. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, the 12th chapter of Luke. And he said in that, in that chapter, he said, uh, I have told you that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Now, the, the Christ that loves you, the Christ that dwells in you, the Christ that's praying for you, that Christ, your Redeemer, that Christ he lives in the Father, and the Father lives in him. For he and the Father are one. And so it's important for you to know that. And he said, the words that I speak to you are from the Father. They're not just of me and the flesh. They come from the Father. 
And so it is that the words that I speak to you, dear friend, are not only on my, my side, I'm, I'm hoping and praying, but from, they're coming from the Lord. I'm praying they'll come from God. You Christians, please pray that the Lord will use me and give me a mouth and wisdom, and that my gainsayers can neither gainsay nor resist. A mouth that speaks truth, and so we need to see that. We need to know that. Keep your heart right before God. Stay humble. Stay humble. Put down pride. De deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow Jesus every day. And so that's important, and God will bless it. Over in Isaiah in the 40th chapter, it says, uh, <clears throat> Wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, he says, do this because you're my strength and my redeemer. You get strength from the Lord when you turn your life over to him. When you can't understand why things are going the way they are, just turn it over to him as best you can and say, Lord, I don't understand it, but I believe it. I believe it's happening, and I believe that there's a purpose in it. I believe you're going to work it out. I believe you're going to bring me through. I believe you're going to overcome, and I will overcome through you. I believe I'm going to win because I'm in you, and you never lose eventually. So God, help help me, and help these who are listening today to look up, take hold of the Lord, and know that all is well. All is well indeed. Amen. God bless you. God help you to know that you shall mount up with the wings like the eagle. You're going to fly one day over your problems. Right now, you may be standing in the storm. Stand still and wait on the Lord, and he will bring you out, and you will come through. Praise ye the Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, my thoughts, be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you need to pray a, pray a brief prayer, pray a prayer like this and mean it from your heart as best you can. That you're praying for salvation if you need to. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid the price on Calvary. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen. Now find you a good church and worship God with his people. And remember, dear friends, you that are Christians and love the Lord, I want you to know God loves you and I love you. Amen.